Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is take a look at how we can machine a chamfer or a fillet on our part geometry. In this example, why don't we create a 3 millimeter chamfer all the way around the outside of the part. So to do that, we're going to head over to the main toolbar, and we're going to select Stock Tool Pass. From there, we're going to select Chamfer Edge. Now, when this happens, our cursor changes to the word start, and this is very much like our profile operation. You simply digitize where you want to start to chamfer. So I'm going to left click right here. Now we get our four arrows. The arrows determine the side and the direction that we want to chamfer. I want to clamp cut all the way around the outside, so I'm going to left click that arrow right there. Now our cursor changes to the word end, and this is where one CNC wants us to determine where we want to stop our chamfering. I want the chamfer to go all the way around, so I could left click right here or I can simply hit the F3 key on my keyboard, function key 3, and that will select the rest of the geometry. Now I'm going to right hand mouse click to finish. Here's our first dialog box. This is where we define a tool. Now you can select a tool from the library by simply left clicking on the graphic or left click on the tool changer, or you can define a tool manually. I think for this example I'll just define a tool. I'm going to say this is interior position number one. I'm going to give this an RPM of 3000. Let's give this some coolant. For feed rate, I'll put in 0.25. That looks good. And for tool type, what we want to do is select chamfer. Uh, length is how far the tool sticks out past the holder. Uh, for diameter, I think what I'm going to do is, why don't we go with, uh, how about 12 millimeters for that? So I'll type in 12 millimeters. That looks good. Now the tip diameter, that's the very tip of the chamfer. I'm going to put that at zero. That's, there we go. And then our, our taper angle, I'm going to have that set to 90 degrees. So that looks good. Let's click next. Here's our rapid plane. I'm going to put that at 10 millimeters and for plunge clearance I'll put it 3. Now the uh, plunge clearance, that's the distance where the tool is going to start to feed down. So I think that looks pretty good. Alright, now when you get to the chamfer dialog, you'll notice that there's uh, two ways that we can select geometry. Uh, one is for wireframe geometry and you can see here's kind of a cross section. Wireframe geometry typically doesn't show the chamfer already being machined and so we're going to be selecting option one here. But if we were working with a solid model you'd want to go with option two. So just make sure for geometry position for wireframe you've got one selected. The length, that's the hypotenuse of the chamfer and the width is this distance right here. Okay, so for this distance I want three millimeters. So let's erase that and we'll type in three. That looks good. So we'll click next on there. Now this is how we approach and exit the chamfer operation. Uh, for lead in, I want to arc in. So let's go with line arc. That looks good. And for the radius here, why don't we go with uh, how about three millimeters for the radius in and we'll say 45 degrees. That's how much of an arc. I don't want this little extra line right here. I just want to arc in, go all the way around, and then arc off. So for start line length and start line angle, I'm going to have these set to zero. Now for the exit values, this is where we're going to exit our tool when we're done chamfering. Uh, I want to use the same value. So you definitely could um, populate the same values here if you want. I'm just going to click these arrows, and these little down arrows will populate your exit values exactly with uh, your entry values. So we'll click Finish. And there we go, there's our chamfer. Why don't we simulate this? So I'm going to right hand mouse click up here. Let's go with simulate rest. And what we'll do is we'll use this shape as our stock. So we're going to go with pick a boundary. And we'll say the, the top of the job's at zero. And we'll say that the very bottom of the job is minus 20 millimeters. So put in minus 20 there. I'm going to up our resolution to finest. I think all this looks good. We'll click OK to that. And then now one CNC wants us to digitize the boundary of our stock. So I'll just left click there and we'll right hand mouse click. And I'm going to change our view just a little bit here. Let's slow this down. I'll rewind this. And there we go. We arced on. And you can see here's our, our chamfering operation going all the way around the part now. And there's a nice three millimeter chamfer on there. Okay, let's erase this and let's take a look at putting a fillet. Fillet works exactly the same way. So let's let's come down here. We'll say delete operation. We're going to come over here. I'm going to kind of speed through this one because this works exactly the same way. We're going to go with corner rounding. Use exactly the same techniques to grab the geometry. And for a corner rounding tool, I'm going to say this is in turret position number one. We'll give this an RPM and some coolant. 
that looks good for feed rate I'll say that looks fine corner rounding tool length diameter and then for a corner radius you put in whatever you want for that I might make that 3 change that to to 12 there that looks fine we'll click OK rapid clearance again I, I know I'm speeding through this but this is exactly the same dialogues that we looked at for chamfering even the way we select our geometry is the same as well uh, I'm gonna go with number one uh, you can use cutter comp if you want to with the corner rounding or filleting but I'm gonna leave it set to automatic all that looks great we'll click next on there here's our lead in and lead out why don't we just use the same values that we had had used before for that. I'll make that zero. Click the down arrows to populate our exit values. There we go. And maybe finish up with just a really quick simulation. Kind of running out of time here. I'll grab that. Rotate this around. And there we go. There's a nice fillet being machined on the part. All right. So fillets and chamfers very, very simple to, to create within one CNC. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.